Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today what I want to share with you is a breakdown of what I've done in each year at university and some of the things that you would expect if you study aerospace at university. So, if you're new to the channel, my name's Saga and I'm currently a final year aerospace engineering student at the University of Sheffield. And in this video, what I want to do is share what I've done in each of these four years and also what kind of things you can expect to study while studying aerospace engineering. Before we begin, I just want to say we have surpassed 100 subscribers. But the thing is, if you haven't subscribed already and you are watching my video, like the 86.9% of you guys, please consider subscribing because I will have some more awesome videos for you guys and I know that you will enjoy them and find them informative. So please hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys and let's get on to the video. Okay, so first year, what can you expect in first year? Well, first year, I, I think it's one of the most busiest years out of all four of the ones that I've studied because you have a lot more contact hours, especially in first year, given the fact you have a much more diverse set of subjects to study because not only do you learn just fluid mechanics and stuff like that, you do learn electrical engineering, um, automatic control systems engineering side of things, pure statics and mechanics side of things, as well as you learn materials as well. So you have a whole host of subjects that you have to learn and that's why you have plenty of classes. And it does get quite busy because most days are kind of full with lectures and tutorials. And the other thing to expect in your first year is projects and lab work that are intertwined with your degree. So I myself did a bunch of simple-ish labs that sort of complement the stuff you learn in your course, as well as we had this larger project that was over a number of lab working periods where we developed and built a gyro car, which is like this little car with like a single wheel that runs around the track and balances itself. So we got to develop our hands-on skills with that where we did woodworking and machine shop stuff. So overall, first year is pretty good. It's pretty busy, but you sort of have to try and, you know, find your feet and get used to life at uni. So my tips for first year is to try and really understand what your university has to offer. Um, so that's in terms of student projects, uh, other opportunities like studying abroad, um, and also any industry connections that the university has. Because ultimately, if you get a decent understanding as what's to what your university can offer you, then you're going to be in much better position for the coming years. Um, also, check out my video about how you can travel for free whilst at uni, because it'll definitely help you expand your experiences and make the most of your time at university. So, that's my overview of first year. I'll also put a screen up with the stuff I studied in my first year, just so you're aware of what kind of topics that are covered. Okay, so second year, what can you expect in your second year? Well, second year is very similar to first year because you still have a lot of diverse range of subjects that you have to study. And um, overall, your contact hours, I'd say, are pretty equivalent to that of first year. However, the better thing is that now you're in your second year, you're used to how university works and hopefully you're better at managing your time. So in my opinion, second year is much more easier than my uh, first year, so much so that in fact I actually got a better grade on average in my second year than I did my first year. The other thing is that in your second year you have much more interesting labs to work on. So I remember one of the labs I had in my second year was to dismantle and reassemble a mini like jet engine sort of thing, so that was pretty cool. I'll put a picture of it because I think I have a few pictures of that. Um, and we also do things with the wind tunnel as well, which is pretty cool. So I think I did that in my second year. Yeah, I did do it in my second year, not my first year. So that's also another great lab. My, my tips for people in second year would be really to get yourself involved in extracurricular projects and activities because since you're now used to university life in general, you probably have much more free time to spend on other project work and stuff like that to really help you become more you know, unique and special in a way where you're more competitive 
against your peers, when you're looking for grad jobs and stuff like that. So I think you have a lot of time in your second year where you don't have a, the pressure of dissertations and stuff like that. So definitely make the most of your time in second year. The other thing that to consider when you're in your second year is you have to try and start to figure out what do you want to do for the rest of your degree. So would you want to study abroad for a year or would you want to go into a industry placement for a year? So second year is really the, the year where you have to sort of make that decision and stick to it for the rest of your degree. Um, the other thing I want to say is I will also put a list of the modules I studied after this section ends uh, about what I did in my second year. So now we're at third year. So some of you might be finishing in your third year, which is a bit daunting, but also kind of exciting. So I think some of the stuff that I will say for fourth year is also going to be relatable to people who are just doing their bachelor's degree and finishing in their third year. So definitely stick around for the whole video. But anyway, so for me, my third year was actually done in Australia because I did a study abroad year. And I think your third year really starts to feel more like an aerospace engineering degree because you do more aerospace specific things from your third year. Ultimately, your third year, you still have quite a lot of contact hours, but I think the diversity of your course definitely gets refined into what you want to do and what your interests are. So for me, I'm, I'm super interested in propulsion and aerodynamics. So that's the route which I took my third year into. So overall, third year is a great year where you could potentially be on a study abroad year, although some people could be on a placement year. So it all depends on how you how you basically pave your degree. Um, but my advice for third years is just to make the most of your third year because university is slowly coming to an end. Um, and also become more aware as to what you want to do after university and have a look at people in places where you see yourself and try and figure out what experiences they gained before they left university to end up in the position they're at. So that's my tips and basically overview of what third year is all about. Okay, so now we have reached the end of the line and we're in the fourth year. So that's the current year I'm in and one of the biggest aspects of fourth year is your final year project and your dissertation, which generally takes most of your time. The good thing is because it takes most of your time, the university doesn't really have many subjects that it teaches you in your final year because most of your work and effort has to go into your dissertation. So in my first semester of first year, I only had, not first year, fourth year, um, I only had three subjects, whereas also in my second semester of fourth year, I have two subjects. So as you can see, the contact hours are much, much less than in your first three years. So ultimately, your final year is the year where you just have to start deciding on what you want to do after university, um, where you see yourself in the future and sort of, I guess, planning out how you want your career to go. You know, it's obvious that your career is never going to be a straight line from here to success. You're going to have lots of kinks and bumps along the way. So, you know, you're going to have to figure out what you want to end up being and what you want to do in your life after uni. It's kind of daunting, but honestly, kind of exciting at the same time because you sort of lose the restraints from your formal education and get to explore more of the world, really. So that's my sort of roundup as to what each year at university entails, what it's kind of like in each year and sort of the things you have to think about and consider in your first, second, third and fourth year. I want to just also add, if you do have any questions about any of the years at university or studying aerospace at university in general, um, definitely do comment down below. I'll be happy to answer your questions. And also like and subscribe if you found this video insightful and interesting and also want to stay up to date with any more videos that I will put out regarding university, engineering and aerospace. So um, 
If you do enjoy my stuff, also consider following me on TikTok as well, where I post some interesting and you know informative videos about aerospace and engineering in general. So I shall see you guys in another video. Goodbye.